Well, good day, everybody, from Swanson, Ohio. Today we have serial number 115 in front of us. It's a 2006. It's a about 9,000 hour airplane. Right now it's a 91 airplane. Um, I'm here visiting with the owner. He's also the pilot. They've got a healthcare business and they're uh, selling off some of their uh, facilities that are farther away. So he's been driving mostly to, the, uh, to his various site visits and things like that. The airplane's very tidy. The paint's recent on it. Um, leading edges are good. Um, the airplane's very, very tidy. I'll, I'll walk you through here in just a second. They've recently swapped out all of the uh, recognition lights and the external lights to the airplane. You can see the beacon up there maybe flashing with uh, LEDs. He's also changed out all the inside lights with LEDs, so it's kind of nice and crisp. Um, Paintwork is, um, I would call it a solid eight. Um, if you recall in uh, the previous video, we had some touch up here on the aileron and in a couple of other places in this this airplane because the paint's new on it. There's, I've not seen anywhere where they touched up. They did a, um, the maintenance guys are like this. This, uh, these panels need to come off for the uh, dot 22 and uh, they painted it and then they put the screws in it. So you don't uh, have to uh, touch up the paint after. Baggage area is nice and tidy. The uh, all of the uh, bits and pieces are just like they should. This one's got the full um, ski tube in it, and um, they redid when they did the interior. They redid this as well. It's a little scuffed up on top, but uh, from a customer standpoint, it's just fine. So this aircraft does not have a side-facing seat, and it's got a more standard full-size refreshment center. This one actually has cabinets where the uh, one, two previous had a uh, space there for the uh, life raft. This one's got um, cabinets, which is just fine. It just loses one seat compared to the other airplane. You notice this one's got a slightly wider refreshment center. This wood is all good. Back goes inside there. Flight deck. They uh, recently redid the seats. Uh, it's got all standard Cessna type avionics. Here's your lavatory area. Um, on the last uh, Dock 22, they looked underneath there for corrosion. It was all fine, but on the pre-buy, we'll look for it again. The, uh, this has not been changed, but the carpet's been recently changed. The leather was done in 2016. Here's the view from the lavatory. Uh, standard seating with all the other airplanes. You've got a forward club. You've got uh, two forward facing seats aft. So this aircraft has seven seats. Uh, as I said, the uh, leather was done in 2016. You'll notice also that that front seat up there has got the, uh, the maintenance cover on it. So this airplane comes with maintenance covers for the seats. So when you put it down for maintenance, you can cover seats so they don't get banged up. As I said, the carpet's um, about a year old. It looks fine for charter, it's multicolored, so I think uh, it'll be just fine. I don't think we need to put a full runner on it. The wood throughout is uh, is good. I've not seen any major blemishes. Uh, there's none of that uh, fogging that you see in some of the uh, other aircraft. The uh, wood up there, there's a couple of nicks and stuff like that that might need to be addressed, but it's all very, very good. The um, the window shades are, you can tell I'm struggling here a little bit. They're a little hard. That's going to need a little bit of a, a tune-up, but it's not. Um, I checked them all. They're all about the same, so it's just the nature of the uh, type of aircraft it is. As mentioned, the seats were refinished in 2016. Um, other than a good clean, you can see a little bit of, of um, just creasing. It's not really cracking. It's a little bit up there, but it's not too bad at all. A, um, if one felt the need, one could uh, sand and uh, 
and re-dye the seats, which isn't that big of a job. The armrests were generally in good shape. Um, you know, all the, all the leather looks pretty fine, so I think for a chart it'll be just fine. It's interesting, one can see that little mark right there. It's not really a mark. I would say it's probably uh, a little bit of moisture. We're starting to discolor a little bit. This is the uh, refreshment center right when you walk onto the aircraft. Um, without the camera, without the light on it, one can hardly see it. And as I said, when you run your hand over it, it uh, you can't feel it at all. So it's, it's within the, uh, the finish of the paint, or the finish of the uh, clear coat. Everything else looks really good up here, though. I think uh, for charter, this is a very suitable aircraft. There's a three quarter view of the airplane. There's the owner over there. I tend to like blue airplanes, but um, so maybe I'm being a little bit biased, but this airplane is very, very tidy. Everywhere I looked, it's got 9,000 hours. It seems to be priced right. I'll get with the broker here later this morning and see what we can do as far as pricing, but I'm pretty okay with this one.